On the heels now of a federal report outlining critical shortages of teachers in Maine, two bills are pending before the Legislature's Appropriations Committee that would raise salaries for teachers, ed techs, and support staff. Supporters say those increases are key to recruit and retain staff by offering a more livable wage. But some school districts say a state mandate oversteps local control and puts more of a burden on taxpayers. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows us more. It's almost vacation week and Nick Salamone could hardly wait. Oh, this is when kids are having a hard time, staff's ready to, you know, need a big break. Nick works as an ed tech in a special needs classroom at Village Elementary School in Gorham. He's one of about 8,000 ed techs working in Maine schools. They get paid hourly to work one on one with students with physical and developmental disabilities who need constant supervision and support. Nick is not doing this life-changing work for the pay, but to make a difference in the lives of Maine's most vulnerable students. While his district pays ed techs above minimum wage, he has seen colleagues leave for higher paying jobs, even at fast food restaurants, to survive economically. If you're you know, having people that want to do that, if we can compensate them properly, they're going to stay and more people are going to come in. State lawmakers on the Appropriations Committee are considering two bills that would raise salaries statewide, from teachers to bus drivers. LD 1064, approved last session, would raise starting teacher pay to $50,000 by the 2027 school year. LD 974, also passed last year, would lift wages for ed techs to 150% of the state's minimum wage and 125% for support staff, including food service workers, custodial staff, and bus drivers. The state minimum wage is $14.15. The proposal would bump ed tech salaries to $21.23 per hour, Support staff would earn a little more than $70.50 hourly. The state would pay the full share of the increase through 2627. Then the cost would be picked up by local school districts. State Representative Kelly Murphy, who is an ed tech, has worked with special needs students. She says some of the lowest paid Mainers are doing the hardest work in our schools. Most ed techs, I would say, do have a bachelor's degree. Some have advanced degrees and their, um, their hourly wage is, is really not appropriate for the work that's being done. Gorn Superintendent Heather Perry supports compensating ed techs and support staff, but not with a state mandate. She believes the proposal infringes on local control and its ability to negotiate contracts. She says a mandate would cost a district dealing with inflationary costs as much as $800,000 annually. The pressure it's going to place on local communities to support those increases is going to be tremendous and we're going to run into difficulties passing budgets. Perry believes the state instead should create grants where districts can apply for additional funds to boost pay rates. Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.